Hi, welcome. Today I want to discuss something that I feel is a very important discussion, at least for me, because, you know, uh, I like talking about this type of stuff, and what I want to talk about today is Melodious. And what I think Melodious needs to become competitive and become good as an archetype. So let me tell you what I personally think about Melodious. I love Melodious. I think it's a fun archetype. The problems I have with Melodious is, as most people might have problems with them, they don't really have a lot of fusion monsters and of course they don't have their own ritual spell card, which obviously harms this deck a lot. They only have these three fusion monsters to go into. And I must say, like, as fusion monsters go, they aren't that impressive. I mean, the, I would say that Melodious Shore is probably one of the better ones. I would definitely say this one is a close second. And I would say this card has its poten has potential in certain matchups. But what I want to talk about today is, I think that they need more fusion monsters. And I really am pissed off right now because I do watch the anime to kind of keep updated on what cards are going to be released. And the main character, Yusu, that plays Melodious, hasn't gotten any good support whatsoever this far. Like, in a long time. Like, the last card she got was Bloom Prima, the Melodious Choir. And she wasn't that impressive. I really hope that we get to see something awesome coming from this archetype in... I mean, we don't really know how long the show is going to go on. I mean, what I've heard, the show is not going to go on for very much longer, which means that Melodious might not get that much more support. And I think it's kind of sad. I mean, Super Heavy Samurai has gotten better support than Melodious. That's a crime, in my opinion. And I feel like that's something that... It's, it's kind of horrible when they do this on archetype. They don't support it, they don't want to support it, and... It just feels like when they do get support, it's not that good. I mean, what Melodious need right now, it is, is it, they need at least three more fusion monsters. Maybe four good fusion monsters. I feel like the normal deck, like uh, with normal monsters and effect monsters, that's fine. That's completely fine. I don't. We don't need any more there. That's fine. Completely fine. We don't need more there. We need four, so th three to four more new fusion monsters. That's what we need. And a fusion spell card. A melodious fusion spell card. I said it before um, that this is what I want for the melodious archetype. Their own fusion spell card. There are more fusion monsters that are good. That can actually make this deck a little bit more competitive. I mean, if you look at Luna Light. They really have the better cards. Like, the Luna Light archetype really have strong, powerful monsters. What does Melodious have? I mean, I wish that Melodious and Luna Light had the same monsters, like the same type of strong, powerful monsters. But if you're gonna play one of them, I recommend Luna Light. Because what's the point of playing Melodious? Because Melodious doesn't have as strong. And the thing is, they have, as, they have equally many fusion monsters. Mel I mean, Luna Light also only have three monsters, fusion monsters. But those three fusion monsters is kind of like rank up. I mean, they become stronger and stronger and stronger. Melodious has kind of like, they have iffy effects. Like, they're good at some points in a duel, they can be good sometimes. But there are no, like, real boss monster of the fusion monsters. None of the fusion monsters are boss monsters that just wins games. If you get out, like, I believe Lion Dancer, that's a boss monster. That's a game winner. Melodies doesn't have that. They don't have a game winner. They don't have a panther dancer or a cat dancer. They don't have those type of cards that can really make strong, powerful plays. That's why I say Luna Lights is beyond better than Melodious. And I just wish that Melodious could step it up. And the only way they can do that is to get at least three, four new fusion monsters, good ones. Maybe a ritual monster, because right now, of course, in the anime, um, Yusu is with uh, Asuka, I believe her name is in Japanese. I, I, basically, she is with... Uh, yeah. So, she, she is in, with, with um, uh, uh, the, uh, the ritual... Yeah. The ritual archetype player, whatever. I, I'm, I'm not very that good with names. I've ripped down from memory. But whatever. That's not the point. 
Maybe she will, she will get a ritual monster. That would be good. Because I think that if you got a good ritual monster, it could make the deck better. So, if that happens, I want to see what type of ritual monster she would get. But either you, we get a ritual part of Melodious, or we get a better fusion version of Melodious. Because here's the thing though. Uh, she didn't get any, like, she hasn't gotten a lot of good support. And I'm gonna compare her to, like, Super Heavy Samurai again. Super Heavy Samurai have gotten better support. They have better monsters, in my opinion. Have really powerful synchros. That actually makes the deck good and kind of playable. Just like Lunalite. Kind of good, good fusion monsters makes it, makes it playable. What does Melodius have? They have... I would say one of them is really good, one of them is very, yeah, it can be good in certain situations and certain matchups, and one of them is decent. So I would say that they have a little more of a split type of deal going on here. Like it's more split in the archetype. They need their own fusion spell card. That's the first thing. If you can get a recyclable fusion melodious spell card, I think that's going to make the deck much better. Another way is if they get a couple of more spells and traps. I don't think we have enough Melodious spells and traps either. So, in what I would want for the last Melodious support is maybe a Ritual Monster and a Ritual Spell card. Maybe two Ritual Monsters and one Ritual Spell card. Something like that. Maybe two more spells, two more traps. Maybe one Fusion card, Melodious Fusion. And maybe three to four new Fusion Monsters. That's what I want for the archetype. Because I think they need more to become good. Because the three months they have right now, it kind of splits the archetype more than it actually unites it. And I think that's sad. I mean, when Luna Lights have better support, and they have only one set of support, I believe. I mean, they only come on once. Like, they don't have, like, several sets of support. Melodius has that, but they never become good. They never become competitive. They always kind of goes the flat line. They never become anything more than just okay. And I feel like that's a big problem. I mean, my favorite one is definitely uh, Bloom Diva the Melodious Choir. I think this is probably my favorite of them. I mean, it, I think this has most playability. This is a, also a pretty good one. I mean, it can become really powerful. You, you more fusion monsters you do. I mean, its effect is this card gains 300 attack for each fusion material used to fusion summon. So if you use three monsters, it becomes 2800. That's pretty sta it's pretty solid. But you have to use three monsters. And I would say, when it comes to it, I would say Shiberta, she's the one that is a little more some matchups. She's really good, and others, she's not as good. But she can definitely be good. Uh, she's a good beater, if, if nothing else. But uh, I would say that when it comes to support, I wish Melodius had better support. I wish Melodious would get stronger. Because when I see Luna Lights, I just see what Melodious could have been. If they got something good. If they got something good that could be as good as, you know, maybe even Fluffles, for example. I mean, Fluffles has better support than Melodious. And I just feel like, this is what, what I hate about the anime. They kind of take male characters, the male characters of the show, and their archetypes usually gets better support than the females in the arc in the shows. I mean, you can go back and watch older shows, like, it's kind of incredible. It's incredible how female characters in the Yogyo show, is they always, always get the shittiest cards. But the male characters, they always get good stuff. And I feel like that's, that's a shameful thing. And here is the same thing. I wish Melodius was better. I wish they could get something good. And they need to become stronger. I feel like I want to play this deck. I still play Melodius. I still try to build something. But I haven't come up with a build I like. Because they don't have enough good fusion monsters. And what I think. Like what I said in this video. That's what they need. They, they need that. They need better cards. They need better fusions. Their own fusion spell. Maybe even ritual in, our, in their own ritual spell card. That would be awesome. I mean. If Lunalite can do it, Melodius can do it. If Fluffles can do it, Melodius can do it. So why not give them anything good? Why not make them playable? Why not make them at least get support like Super Heavy Samurais? 
which I think gets better support than Melodious. But that's just something I wanted to talk about in this in this video. I want to get across that I want to see more support Melodious. I want to see this arc to become stronger than it is. Right now, I feel like it is kind of underwhelming. It's not necessarily bad. It's still playable. But I wish it was stronger. And that's all I have to say about it in this video. So, as always, please comment, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.